Alabama Facts and Symbols by Emily McCulloch. State Name and Nickname. The name Alabama comes from the Choctaw Native American words, Abba, Ammo. These words mean clears of the thicket. A thicket is a thick growth of plants, bushes, or small trees. The Choctaw people were once called the Abba Ammo. Alabama's nickname is the Heart of Dixie. Dixie is another name for the southern part of the United States. This nickname means Alabamians are proud to be Southerners. Some people call Alabama the cotton state. Farmers throughout Alabama grow cotton. Workers make cloth and other products from this valuable state crop. Other nicknames come from Alabama state symbols. Alabama is known as the Camellia State. The Camellia is Alabama state flower. Alabama also is known as the Yellowhammer State. The Yellowhammer is Alabama state bird. State seal and motto. Alabama officials adopted the state seal in 1939. The seal reminds Alabamians of their state's government. The seal also makes government papers official. Alabama state seal shows a map of the state's largest rivers. Rivers were important to Alabama's farmers and lumberjacks. Farmers sent their cotton to market by boat. Lumberjacks floated logs down Alabama's rivers to mills. Mill workers cut these logs into lumber for building. In 1817, Alabama's government adopted a territorial seal. The present state seal is the same as Alabama's old territorial seal. In 1939, Alabama official adopted the state motto, we dare maintain our rights. This motto means Alabamians will fight for the freedom to make their own decisions. State capital and flag. Alabama's capital building is in Montgomery. This city became Alabama's capital in 1846. Government officials meet in the capital to make the state's laws. Workers built Alabama's first state capital in 1847. A fire destroyed the building in 1849. Builders finished the current capital in 1851. They built it on the same site as the first capital. Alabama Silicaga marble covers the outside of the capital. Silicaga is a type of rock found in Alabama. It is known for its bright white color. Alabama officials adopted the state flag in 1895. The flag is white with a dark red X across it. This X is known as the Cross of St. Andrew. By 1861, states had left the United States to form their own nation. These states called themselves the Confederate States of America. Montgomery was the capital of the Confederacy. State bird. In 1927, Alabama adopted the yellow hammer as its state bird. People also call yellowhammer flickers or yellow shafted woodpeckers. These birds are common in Alabama. Yellowhammers are named for their color. Their bodies are yellow and gray. A red patch covers their necks. Yellowhammers often build nests in dead trees. Female yellowhammers lay one egg each day for six to 10 days. The eggs hatch in about seven days, 17 days. Yellowhammers grow to be about 11 inches long. Alabama soldiers who fought in the Civil War were called yellowhammers. The soldiers' uniforms were yellow and gray like the bird's feathers. The soldiers even stuck yellowhammer feathers in their shirts and hats. Alabama and the other Confederate states fought for independence during the Civil War 
which was 1869 to 1865. State tree. In 1949, Alabama officials chose the longleaf pine as the state tree. This tree grows mostly in the central and southern parts of the state. Longleaf pine leaves are branches of needles. The longleaf pine get its name from the way its leaves grow when the tree is young. The leaves of a young longleaf pine grow longer than the leaves of most pine trees. A young longleaf pine leaves grow up to two feet long. As a longleaf pine grows, its leaves shorten to about half of their original length. The pine loses its long leaf look as its branches grow. Longleaf pines are conifers. Conifers have cones that hold the tree seeds. Longleaf pines have large prickly cones that grow five to 10 inches long. What does the word prickly mean? Prickly means covered with sharp points. State flower. In 1959, government officials made the Camellia Alabama's state flower. Many different types and colors of camellias grow in Alabama. Officials did not choose any specific camellia as the official state flower. Camellia flowers can have white, pink, or red petals. Some camellia flowers have red and white stripes. Many Alabamians prefer red and white camellias. These are the colors of the Alabama state flag. Camellia blossoms can grow as large as five inches across. In Alabama, these plants bloom nine months of the year. Many Alabamians use camellia plants to decorate their yards and gardens. Camellia flowers grow on evergreen bushes. These plants keep their green leaves year round. The camellia bush can grow to be um, 40 feet tall. State animal. Alabamians chose the racking horse as the state animal in 1975. The racking horse is named for its smooth walk. Alabamians call this stride a rack. The stride of the racking horse is also called a single foot gait because only one foot strikes the ground at a time. Racking horses are smaller than most horses. An adult racking horse measures about five feet tall at the shoulders. A racking horse usually weighs about 1,000 pounds. Racking horses have long sloping necks and strong backs. In the 1800s, many plantation owners rode racking horses. These farmers used racking horses to supervise work on their large farms. Racking horses are calm and comfortable, comfortable to ride for long periods of time. They also are strong and can run at fast pace for long distances. More state symbols. The state insect. Alabama state insect is the monarch butterfly. The state adopted this symbol in 1989. Monarch butterflies have orange and black wings and they have white spots. State mascot and butterfly. The Eastern Tiger Swallowtail became Alabama's state mascot and butterfly in 1989. In Alabama, this large yellow butterfly stands for good luck. State reptile. In 1990, Alabama's government adopted the red bully, the red belly turtle as the state reptile. This turtle does not live anywhere else in the world. State rock. In 1969, Alabama officials named marble the state rock. Alabama marble is known for its strength and bright white color. 
salt water fish. In 1955, Alabamians chose the fighting tarpon as the state salt water fish. Tarpon live near Alabama's shore in the Gulf of Mexico. People in Alabama fish for the large silver tarpon.